Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video and welcome to DIY Art Plus. So today I'm gonna show you how I uh, how I use a clipping mask on my Procreate app. So for that, I'm gonna use this iPad, of course, and uh, the Apple Pencil that I have. Uh, and uh, I'm just gonna open the Procreate app. So if you wanna know more, more about Procreate, make sure you check out my other videos um, where I introduce to uh, Procreate app and it's all about uh, in that video. Okay, so um, let's start about how to use a clipping mask. So for that, let me just create a very uh, simple word. Uh, so let me just add any text, uh, clipping mask okay so I'm just gonna make it nice and bold and making it bigger okay so now let's say you have uh, something to work with right here. Um, now you wanna have to use a clipping mask. So here I'm just gonna add a new layer above my design layer. And uh, let's say you wanna add a different color for the clipping mask, uh, for the word, for the design that you are using, but you don't know right now what to add. So let's start experiment and uh, see if you like that. If you don't, you can always restart. Okay, so um, here I am just gonna pick any random color, maybe yellow. Oh, hey, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give a thumbs up. And uh, I also sell my stickers on Matsy shop, so make sure you check it out. Okay, so here I pick a yellow color and my largest, largest brush. So this large. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna color this area. As you can see, I'm almost covering the design. And I'm gonna pick a different color, orange. Here, just to show you, I uh, pick a very simple design, which is a clipping mask word, but you can use any design. Uh, you can do this with any design you want to. Okay, so uh, let's say you like these colors. Now I'm gonna uh, do whatever you wanna do with these colors. Uh, you can make it a uh, blur if you want to. You can also add a liquify thing so that let's see if I can. I don't know if I'm yep, okay. So do whatever you want to do, make it marbly look or whatever you want to do it with it. Okay, that's good. Using liquify and blur option is very optional. You don't really have to use this, but you can use this to uh, play around with the colors. Okay, I think I like that. Okay, make sure you covered everything. Before you go up. Okay, I think I like that. And then just click on here to just remove that. And then click on that same layer that you are working with. And then click on clipping mask. And magic. <laughs> Whoever created this feature, I just love that. So uh, let's say you still don't like those colors. What you can do is just remove the clipping mask or you can just work um, without removing the clipping mask if you want to. So um, here I'm just gonna use the liquify again and trying to play around. So as you can see, everything is moving. So um, yeah, so you can just play around with this clipping mask. Um, and then uh, in case if you want to change the color or start over, you can always do that again. So let's say you wanna, you don't like this, but you don't, you're not sure if you want to remove this or not. So you don't have to remove it. Just uncheck that and create a new layer. Again, pick any random color, whatever color you want to. Uh, I'm just picking any weird colors. 
So I make stickers and I use this clipping mask feature a lot. It really helps me to uh, change the color in future if I want to for any of my sticker design. And without spending a lot of time creating a new design. Okay, so that's it. You are done, you like that. Just say, just click on that layer again and then click on clipping mask. So that's what it's gonna do. You can keep whichever you want to and maybe for the future reference uh, let's say you don't want to use this color maybe for the next time you want to use a different color so that's why you just try not to combine this like this just keep it uh, this way you can still save this uh, design as png or JP jpeg whatever you want to so yeah that, that was with the clipping mask but if you have any question just leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you um i'm trying to make this video very short uh so that if you are just want to know what the clipping mask do this is what clipping mask do um but i don't know if i miss anything i am also very new to procreate but as i'm learning i'm showing you so um like i said i'm trying to cre create a very short video so for the next time maybe i'll pick a different topic and uh, this is just for the clipping mask so I hope you guys enjoy watching my video and if you do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to see more of uh, different tricks for the Procreate app and uh, if you have any question just leave a comment down below and I will see you next time for another Procreate tip and also the DIY that I usually do on my YouTube. So bye!